Norby Forest is in North Yorkshire and it's a family favourite place to visit and I've been coming here for at least 20 years now and I'm going to show you exactly what Dolby Forest has to offer and some of the best places is right up high so my first stop is going. Doing Go Ape offers an exclusive view to Dolby Forest as you sail through the air. So this is Go Ape. It has a 16.6 meter high platform and a 225 meter zip wire. So I'm gonna get harnessed up and safety checked and we're gonna get ready. So we're on the treetop challenge and obviously we have to climb this pretty rocky um, ladder but it's going to be really cool because there's a 50 meter high zip wire which is really going to get the adrenaline junkie out of you. They say the first jump is the hardest but I think once you've done it and you've got your confidence up more you'll love it all the more. So we're now at the top of the go ape and we're doing the first challenge. Our first challenge is the Tarzan swing so we're going to swing all the way to these ropes and then after that we're going to go on the zip wire right down to the bottom. So wish me luck. I'm going to hold on to these. onto the first zip wire of the course. One thing that's really cool about Go Egg is all the views. You can see for miles. The stepping stones are cleverly put together as well and challenges you to cross. And I caught up with manager of Go Egg, Nick and Mark to tell me what not to miss while you're here and what else you can find. We started off with just the traditional go eight course, which is the three hour long one, which is for anyone that's 10 years and 1.4 meters upwards. Um, and then we got our forest segways in, which uh, for anyone that's over seven stone, um, that was about five years ago. And we've also, in the last few years, have introduced our treetop adventure, which is for the smaller children, so anyone that's a metre and upwards, but at the same time, mums, dads can go up there with them. Um, under sixes need to have an adult go up there with them, but outside of that, because it's a continuous belay course where they're attached on the whole time, um, they can be supervised from the ground at either end of the summer, where we'll do night sits, we're also looking at doing night segways as well. In conjunction with the um, North York Moors Dark Skies event, we've started doing the night sits two seasons ago, two years ago with them and that's been very successful. Give it a go. So we're on the next bit of the go ape and this is the stepping stones bit and it is quite fun because some bits are really little and some bits are a lot bigger so it kind of does test you, test you a little bit but now I'm looking forward to the next zip line. There's so many zip lines, it's so much fun. And for the younger ones, there's even treetop juniors where the younger children can join in the fun as well. Yeah, so this is nearly one of the last zip lines of go ape it's really exciting. I think this is one of the highest and maybe longest as well, but it's so amazing. So I'm about to jump off. This is so exciting. Okay, ready? Three, two, three. actually 225 meters long. The trail can last from up to two to three hours and it's been built with nature. I like how your anticipation and curiosity builds throughout the course and each section of it is different. And you can even choose the level you want from moderate to high. So this is the last bit of the go eight. So if you can see there, I'm jumping all the way down there. It's so exciting, I absolutely love go eight. So you must do this. The obstacles are just amazing. There's so many people that actually come and do it. So I'm gonna do my last jump and I'll see you down at the end. my go ape experience. Do you know what, I think my favourite bit is the zip wires but also like the clever way they put the bridges together and if you're more daring they do a harder route and they do a bit of an easier route as well so it's definitely a must, you've got to try go ape.